Hello everyone, today I would like to show you some games with Jungle Jumble. Once again it got uh, reduced by 1 mana, so now it's 4 mana only. Do you guys remember when it cost 7 mana for the same effect? Like, it actually doesn't matter too much because it's only one time investment, but still it feels nice for only 4 mana. And uh, I was trying to play three of them but I think it's a little bit too much and or maybe two are enough so I'm playing two jungle jumbles. I'm playing shock stick and jade fingers for more uh, mushrooms and then only just cheap cheap cycle cards and bridge control so uh, because I'm getting uh, five more or four more cards because two are removed and six are gained so the cycle is quite bad, so at least I'm playing these cheap cards to not not have such a bad uh, cycle. And uh, I'm playing it with Morelia because uh, the book is not uh, cycled in your deck and you are getting the book once every 30 or 35 seconds, I'm not sure now. So it, it doesn't matter that I have a bad cycle. And uh, I actually quite like playing jungle jumble from time to time because like you are getting random random cards so every game feels a little bit different which is nice and um, it's also interesting that you can also get uh, heal puff from jungle jumble so it's not not such a good card but why not i was playing it on solo in the first week of the season at Platinum level and I had 7 wins and 1 loss uh, Surprisingly I have 2 games for you again <laughs> and uh, this was actually the first game I was playing playing with this so I had a triple jungle jumble in my deck but I've played only two and the third one only sits in my hand for the rest of the game so I've decided to remove one jungle jumble I'm playing something for defense a little bit <laughs> this two lightning jumped on the other side for heal puff why not First jungle jumbo. Yeah. Nice windwalker to jump in front of the flingers. Not bad. So now I have both bridges for a while. And can save up a little bit mana to play another jungle jumbo. I got watchers. So they are getting free free mushrooms now. At first I, I wanted to wait for them to play it here and defend but it would take so much time probably. I can defend here. Also playing a lot of Denchi cards, a lot of stuns. I think he was playing double. That was up shrine. That was a little bit unfortunate or unpleasant. But never mind. I should probably play something because this up shrine is stunning me. Quite a lot. I was uh, saving up mana for the blue golem with jade fingers. And I also got rock rivals, which like doesn't feel as, as a good card to get from jungle jumble because you need to invest 
some mana into jungle jumble and you probably don't want to invest more to give your opponent a statue. here but probably it was out of out of range it's difficult to see from this angle but to play it and time at full mana I think for watchers but it probably won't be enough on the top lane yeah this this one healing so I've actually played Rock Rival so I can kill kill these two units easily. Storm. Wow. <laughs> that was nice, nice stormy. But there's a full HP statue with no defense on my side. So at least skeletons they are quite good DPS so can do something at least. These feathers are quite nice to give slow on the statue. So hopefully it will be enough. A little bit healing from hill puff, but two monkeys here and one is Shen, so I actually can't play blue golem here. Or I need to give him some another targets like skeletons. From the book I was playing mostly drain life or skeletons because I don't need spirits. I, I already have um, mushrooms and for these big minions it it's not necessary. And I don't need mana reduction most of the time because I have only shock stick. But the Drain life was nice because I was defending from the start and having some healing is nice. some damage. The second game I'm going to show you is against Milloween. So let's see. The dead care nothing for the troubles of the living. I started with Plasma Marines. I went for proper scratch on the top lane. Like they will die but I have one bridge and and actually stops the one plasma marine so my basic attack can kill the first and then the second I won't get so much damage yeah, helping with shock rock to kill the plasma marines hopefully this won't get the bridge, that's nice. And I can play another jungle jungle. And I've actually got Rock Rivals and Blue Golem. I can play Rock Rivals. Now from the start it it felt quite safe. I can play both feathers to slow the statue and hopefully I can win this fight. I have shock stick for the support but he went on the other lane with unholy ground. Yeah, so blue golem on the bottom lane. And I actually had another blue golem. <laughs> yeah, I've played the hill path that he would be safe behind the blue golem, but the blue golem is too slow. So he was not safe. Yeah. 
thing to back up the arcane golem. So I can start new blue golem. And I, I actually got the second truck rivals. So it was like from two jungle jumbles, it was two blue golems and two rock rivals. And I have heal puff and shen, so these these six minions. And I can actually play the rock ri second rock rivals here for the arcane golem. He's on guard, zero level. So easy to deal with. I can add shen. For the statue. And a nice shock for the propellers. And I actually really enjoyed this game for having so many so many blue golems. It's quite nice on playing jungle jungle that sometimes you can get with some some good combinations of cards that makes the game a little bit more interesting. Yeah, so one blue golem on the top lane, one blue golem on the bottom lane, and let's go. <laughs> Actually, getting so many mushrooms here that I like actually can't collect them all. So maybe I should have played some more monkeys, some cheap ones like Tranquil or something. But it was not necessary. 